boy. Ow! No bite. Give me the toy. Release. Leave it. Ow, don't bite. Bring it here. Good boy. Good sailor bear. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You got it. Ow, no bite now. Ah, no bite. Just thought I would show you guys some video of Sailor playing because he's cute. And y'all, he's getting so big. I take him this Friday for his next shots. This is his third round of shots. So I think after this, I think they only have four puppy shots, uh, four rounds. So after this Friday, I think in three more weeks, he'll have his last round of shots. And then... He should be able to start going out and going places and having all the little women, like at the vet, the little nurses all like go crazy over him. Like, and he's not a little terror for them. Like, he's really smart for us. You know, I mean, like, he's smart. He learns things fast. He picks things up quickly. Oh, I've had this to deal with. Come on, bring me your toy. Bring me your squid. Bring it. He, we have two older dogs. They're both 12 years old. And, um, Peanut, um, our Chihuahua, she's full-blooded Chihuahua. Um, she, she has been introduced to him and now they're like in love and she thinks that he's her baby or something. She's never had babies. We've had her since she was a puppy and we raised her. And, you know, she's never, we got her fixed as soon as she was old enough, and she never had babies. And, but, as you guys can see, I have, like, cardboard right there. That's because Peanut will come to the other side of the puppy gate, and they'll get nose-to-nose -nose with each other, and they'll be calm for, like, a little while, but then the next thing you know is, like, um, she'll get worked up and then he'll get worked up and then she'll get worked up and then he'll get worked up and then it's just it's bad so I put the cardboard there to hopefully try to like block their view to each other so maybe they can't like see each other and maybe that will help a little but he really does he still um whines at the gate a lot as you guys can see but I mean I was told I'm supposed to like try to distract him <clears throat> come here you can play with your shark to like distract him first and play with him and then <clears throat> if that doesn't work then my next thing I'm supposed to do is just kind of ignore it which is hard to do because as you guys know when their puppies and crying for you it's like a baby crying for their mom like oh say baby hey why don't you come here come here 
Come here, baby bear. Come here. Hey. Leave her alone. She's trying to sleep in the hallway. See you guys. He's like trying to scritch to get to Peanut. Leave her alone. She's in the hallway. Peanut's got to sleep too, honey. Okay, guys. Well, this video, I wasn't originally intending to do the video of him doing this and, like, crying. Like, he'll stand up at the thing and look over and cry really hard, and it's sad. So, besides distracting him... And trying to play with him, like with his french fries, like, Sailor, you can get your french fries. Come on. So, besides trying to distract him and play with him, which obviously doesn't work sometimes, and ignoring it when he's just whining, what else can I do? Can you guys, somebody please give me some puppy advice? I feel like, like we're doing really good with like training him so far, but there's just some things like this whole whining thing. I don't know if it's because he's a dachshund. I don't know if it's because he's a puppy. Well, he's part dachshund, 50%. So I don't know if it's because he's dachshund and they're vocal. I don't know if it's because he's a puppy and he's just, he thinks she's a mama dog and he wants her. I don't know what the deal is. So I need puppy help, guys. Okay, Sailor, say, say. Speak. Will you speak for me? Speak. <laughs> Woo! Good boy. Bye, everybody. Speak. Speak. <laughs> good boy. Bye.